Hi everyone, my name is Liz, I read, and today I'm going to be reviewing the book Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. So this is a middle grade slash young adult fantasy set on the mountain slopes of Mount Eskel. We follow Miri, who is a 14 year old girl who comes from a family of quarry workers, which means they mine rock from the mountain. Miri wants to be so useful and helpful to her family that she hopes one day to become a quarry worker herself, but her father always refuses even though she is of age to start working. One day someone comes to their mountain village to declare that the prince will be choosing a girl from their village and in order to prepare these girls for the prince's choice they set up an academy at the bottom of the mountain in order to prepare the girls for their visit with the prince. Once at the academy Miri struggles with homesickness, the new expectations from their tutor, the competition between the other girls, and also her own desire to be chosen by the prince. I have to say when it comes to this novel, there isn't any critiques that I have, surprisingly. I fell in love with the story from the very first page and I loved it throughout the entire novel and I decided to give it obviously a five star rating. One of my favorite things about this novel was obviously the story. Before I even started reading this novel I was kind of thinking it was going to be along the lines like The Selection by Kira Cass. In The Selection it's the same kind of idea where it's a group of girls who are living together and the prince has to choose from one of those girls to become his bride. And I thought it was going to be very similar and it's nothing like it at all. In this story the focus is solely on the village and the community that they have within the village. The focus is also on the academy where the girls obviously prepare to meet the prince but also they learn how to read, they learn about politics, they learn about commerce and so the focus is more on the girls and the relationships and also their desire to learn. I would say this is more of a fantasy than it is a romance. There is a small romance in here but the focus is again more on the girls and their relationships with one another and their desire to learn. Funny enough, there was a twist at the end that I did not see coming at all and I always loved being surprised by that. I was surprised that I wasn't able to pick up the little hints along the way but with the surprise it worked really well and then I helped kind of tie it up nicely at the end. So if you don't like ni nice neat endings then you may not like this but I thought it worked really well and it helped everything fit into place. Also there is a bit of magic system in here. It's very minor. It's I don't want to really say anything about it because I don't want to spoil anything but there's nothing too complex so if you're not much of a fantasy reader I would still highly recommend this because it reads more like a historical fiction than an actual fantasy. The other thing I really loved was the setting. I loved learning about this village town that Miri was a part of. There was a huge focus on community. Everyone worked together in order for everyone's survival. There was no one left out because they all worked together in order to get the rock from the mountain and in order to make enough of a living to survive through the winter. Also there was a rich kind of culture. They have many festivals that they have every season. We get to explore those festivals along with these characters and it was such a rich community and a rich backstory for this town and it was so enjoyable and they have lots of stories that they share in this novel about the town as well and so I really loved learning about that. Also the backdrop of it being set in the mountainside was so enjoyable to read. You felt like you were there alongside Miri and her community and there's something very magical about that. I definitely got the sense that the mountain itself was its almost its own character. Last but not least, my other favorite thing about this novel was the characters. There was a huge cast of female characters. Obviously we have Miri and I loved her overarching storyline of wanting to be useful, wanting to have a purpose in her life and struggling to find what that purpose is since she cannot be a quarry, a quarry
diary worker herself. And she's also just a good person. She understands right from wrong and she stands up for others and for herself. And she's also extremely smart. You got to see her excel at the academy and just have the desire to learn. Like I said, there's a huge cast in this book and it wasn't over daunting at all. There were the other girls who attended the academy. There were good girls and bad girls, but it was a, it was very wide range of characters and they were all complex in their own way and they brought different elements to the story that was also very enjoyable. Of course, there were antagonists in here. There were people that were definitely obstacles to these girls. The one person who was, I would consider the main antagonist in the story, also had her own storyline as well and that was enjoyable to see and of course the villagers themselves like you got a sense of community from these villagers because they cared about one another and you got that displayed in the writing honestly that is all i have to say about this this i highly recommend if you liked anything that i said if you liked a huge cast of female characters if you like fantasy but not high fantasy if you like even historical fiction with a female main protagonist, you would like this as well. And if you don't like romance, I would still recommend this because this isn't romance first. I wouldn't even say it's much of a romance. I would say this is more of a coming of age story and a fantasy. I fell in love with this. I'm so excited to continue the series. I don't know when I'll get to it, but hopefully really soon. So that is my review for this novel. If you've read it, please comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. If you liked it, if you did not like it, I really want to know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And you know what, guys? I'm going to keep reading. Bye.